Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night, whatever time of day it is. Welcome uh, to the Thoughts and Theories Podcast. This is Chris with a K. I'm so glad you're here right now. Uh, definitely, if you are listening to this on a podcast uh, platform, this audio is actually being um, stripped from a video recording. So uh, you can head over to my YouTube channel if you want to watch me actually talk during this podcast to see what's going on while I do it. Definitely do that and definitely visit chrisative.com, which is spelled K-R-I-S-A-T-I-V-E.com. Once again, it's K-R-I-S-A-T-I-V-E.com. Uh, that's my name, Chris with a K, and we're creative put together to come up with a website I created that's actually just going to lead you to all my social media platforms as well as uh, my merch store. I do sell shirts. Um, just scroll to the very bottom and click on a tab that says my merch and yeah that's what you get out of it so um but yeah today uh i think today i'm in a good mood so we're gonna get we're gonna have a two for one or day you know uh, meaning i'm try to drop two episodes in one day whoa wow well, i know what you're thinking that's amazing amazing and but before you do that um for those who's watching this on my youtube channel Look at my front backyard. It's big. I got a field. I don't even got a yard. I got a field. Look at all that space right there. You could just run out. You could just run out, stretch your arms out, and do do the coolest of stuff. You know, I, I, I love it. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Don't you feel so free when you see what's behind me? That's a bar right there. That's a bar right there. But anyways, um, yeah, today we're going to be talking about two things. Two things. Uh, first... This this one, no, not not on this podcast, but two different podcasts. So this podcast, I'm gonna talk about something that actually started yesterday. Um, literally, one of my friends she posted up a meme, and it says, "Literally 2096." Um, this is me waiting for some guy to shoot a video or a plot something like that, elaborate plot just to propose to me, and um basically saying kind of giving an impression that no one has ever done that for her and stuff like that but i'm like i'm like what how is that so i'm pretty sure you have 20 billion dudes already ask you that you know by the way this person she has the same birthday as me shout out to my birthday twin um but anyways and then she messaged me back is um you would be surprised because uh most people most guys look at me and they're basically i guess uh i guess Forgot what she said, but I'm gonna paraphrase it. Um, I don't know how I'm trying to paraphrase it, but she was saying basically a lot of dudes assume have an assumption of who I am, like I'm out of their league. Basically, yeah, she says they have an assumption that I'm out of their league, so they don't even try, you know. And that created and triggered a response to me. It's like, oh my gosh, she's on to something. And it just like you know, like when sometimes people say stuff and it actually triggers a thought a theory something that you've experienced in your life but because they've said it it actually created a uh a language a vocab for it you know make you create a thought or something like that that's exactly what happened and i'm gonna get into exactly what that thought is okay so here is my theory about everything this is my theory i believe when a man or a guy dude whatever approaches uh, a woman and realizes like okay this is the real deal yo she is wifey material I mean um, this this goes for me not just all guys it's just um, just for me my personal preference anytime in my life I approach a, a female that's like oh my gosh I can classify her as a woman like oh no no she ain't a girl she's a woman you know um, and I define a woman as someone who has you know they don't have to have necessarily got their stuff together, but they're someone who's basically are on the path if they're not already confident in themselves, knows who they are, you know, um, yes, they have insecurities like that person, but they believe more than themselves than not believing in themselves in the sense. Someone who knows who you are, someone that knows their value, their worth and stuff like that. Not saying they're 100% there all the time, but someone who knows that they are unique they're one of a kind there there's no other like them so so when a guy approaches like well when i when in my life i approach a woman you know and know that she's her it instantly reveals who i am at that moment and present in time which meaning that 
crap. I start asking myself a lot of questions. I like ponder and think about a lot of stuff like, crap, am I a man? Because this, you know, she's a woman and only, you know, um, she requires a man, not a boy. You know, so at that moment I asked myself, crap, am I a man? Am I a boy? Oh, snap. Am I, am I, am I insecure right now? So it reveals like, you mean stuff that like, it reveals the stuff inside of me that I know I have to work on. Like, like crap, I'm right now, I'm a boy, man. Cause like, I feel, I'm just too scared and nervous to kind of like, you know, just pursue her and stuff like that. Like, I feel like I'll be wasting my time if I try to pursue a relationship and stuff. And I'll be, um, analysis paralysis, like basically a moment when you're like, frozen and stuck like you're just paralyzed and you don't know what to do like if you ever seem like okay i'm just throwing this out there i'm just being transparent I'm scared of roaches okay so whenever i see a roach i freeze in fear like oh crap roach is not going to do anything to hurt me they're actually more probably more afraid of me than i am of them but i freeze in fear freeze in fear not freeze in fear but freeze in fear i'm like crap i don't know what i'm going to do this is horrible so i'm like frozen stuck you know, and the same thing kind of happens when I meet a woman, you know, um, and whatnot. You know, um, not every single time. Some women that I can easily conversate with, but some I'm like, crap, you know, should I even try to shoot my shot and stuff like that? Because the last thing I ever want to do is waste a woman's time like that. You know, um, I'm not sure if I'm the only one like this, you know, any other guys out there like this. But this is my theory on why guys probably don't talk to friends like the one friend i just mentioned not because there's some not nothing like there's nothing wrong with her she didn't do anything wrong it's just because of like you see true value someone someone that's worth worth more than words and money can describe and they're not typical women you probably typical girls you try to holler at that probably just don't know who they are yet that that probably easily gives themselves away but this one's one that knows her worth and she's looking for the mister not the the one night stander, you know, kind of thing like that. So um, that's kind of how I feel about that and whatnot. Let me know if you think the same thing, same thing, guys out there and women. Let me know your aspect on this because um, I feel like a lot of times it's these women like, okay, what the heck is wrong with me? I feel like I'm not good enough. I'm just, it's just a theory. I'm not a woman, so I can't speak from the mind. But this is what I'm assuming with how they feel and think. Like, crap, what's wrong with me, man? I know I got it going on. My girl said I got on. You know, all these guys say I'm beautiful and stuff. But, like, I'm still in a dollar bill club. And, by the way, if you don't know what the dollar bill club is, it is my way of saying single. You know? Because dollars are considered singles. That's a slang word for dollars. Single. You got a single on you? So, um, single. So, um, they end up, let's believe, there's probably something wrong with them. So, you know, they start probably losing themselves and start to try to appeal to what they think works instead of realizing that they have what worked all along but they changed it up because i guess they didn't get someone a desired amount of time or so many people passed up on them and stuff like that not realizing in life you're not trying to well it depends on what your belief is my belief is you know um i believe in i'm in a one i'm a one woman type of guy i don't believe in um so, oh my gosh that word it's like poly something like that where you, you believe in you can date multiple people at the same time like by being in a relationship multiple people at the same, same time or marry multiple people at the same time i think it's polygamy i think it is i don't believe in that i'm like a one type of guy mono you know i'm one woman man and stuff like that you know because i truly believe you can't give your attention which is only 100 percent you know you can't change it to 200 percent up the up the level of how much attention you have you only have 100 percent i think it's impossible to give 100 percent to two people or more like you know two or three and more no more people like that you only have 100 percent so instantly as soon as you are dating two people at the same time someone's getting one a percentage of 100 percent others get another percentage meaning one can be getting 50 other get 50 one get 40 60 but there is never going to be a point where you can give two women 100% unless you have a clone of yourself. I don't know. That's just my thought and theory on that. But point is, women start changing up who they are now just to appease guys who are really looking for girls and not women. So women are downgrading or giving themselves or discounting themselves, you know, to end up with a boy instead of realizing that they were made for a man. Oh, that was deep. That was deep. Women 
downgrade to girls in order to get the boys instead of realizing they are worth I mean they deserve a man basically I forgot what I just said but anyways it was deep it hit me my, it hit I hit me myself but that that's that's my thought on that so um, this is my theory is that um, how does a man pursue that woman and um, become a man I think I'm learning in life is that you know um, nothing's perfect perfection is a fallacy that's something only God is you know and not man and I think uh, the only way to turn a man is to start believing in yourself instead of not believing yourself you know uh, don't compare yourself right but believing yourself understand that you might not have all the answers but because she becomes your reason why that she's a woman that she deserves the best that instantly becomes your reason why because that becomes a reason why you're now willing to step up to the plate so instead of um, you know living in that fright you're living in a delight you know instead of saying oh my gosh I'm scared so if I'm scared this might this is probably not right and I'm gonna leave no I'm scared and this is gonna be a good fight and I'm gonna start to believe you know that 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 is the mind process the thought process that I'm trying that I'm I'm not even gonna say trying that I am learning to acquire because I'm saying trying it sounds like uh, I don't believe in myself and have confidence so this is a thought process I am in the process of adapting I'm learning I'm learning the um, fear because there is no well perfect love casts out fear you know um, so learning how to face everything and rise instead of forgetting everything and run so um, that that's my thought about that because this is trust me when you run into women it's like man Wow, first, first you're probably like me. With me, I'm first amazed by the fact that they're even talking to me. Like, oh my gosh, they see me and stuff. Because for some reason, I look at women as another like they're in another whole level of their own. Like they're, you know, they're they're like I don't know, I don't know. They're in a whole another level of their own. So the fact that they would like you know talk to me or just say hi to have a conversation to me, like what the heck? You know, this is great. You know, um. So I have to remember that women are human too. A lot of times, I think a lot of times you could just be thrown off by maybe the fact that they look so good and their parents that, you know, and stuff like that. And we associate usually women that usually look really good to, um, we usually associate women that look really good to as stuck up, you know, for some, I don't know why stuck up or bougie and stuff like that. So high class, high maintenance, all that stuff. So that's, that's probably what happens and why I probably get scared and like, oh, no, you know what? I'll just go back and try to find a girl, someone that's not looking for something serious and deep, you know, and that's probably what ends up happening instead of realizing, like, they're human too. You talk to them, they say hi, they're actually nice and gentle and stuff like that. So that's something that um, that I'm aware of. And don't don't fall for the, the faces, you know, because some woman has the RBF face, you know, they say, the resting itch face, you know. Um, but that's not even the case and the reason why I know that's not even the case is because like a lot of times growing up people would say oh my gosh are you mad what's wrong with you and stuff and I'm like oh, I'm not mad I'm actually good I'm just thinking you know so I came to the conclusion that a lot of times when I'm like daydreaming or thinking hard or just inside my head my face has no emotion because all the energy is being sucked into my thinking instead of putting an expression on my face which leaves expressions which kind of looks like uh, what I call the male version a resting thug face, right? A resting thug face, RTF, resting thug face, thug face, you know. Uh, and basically, it kind of goes um, hand in hand with the saying it that says, Don't judge a book by its cover. And so, just because a book looks weird and stuff like that, an outside cover might have a weird title, does not mean that's summarizes what the whole book is even though you know titles are supposed to summarize a whole book and stuff like that but like you really can't go by titles and stuff you have to actually read the whole book you know um because what i find out is like nine times out of ten anything in life that you're like against that you never actually took in time to study or engage in and stuff like that unless it's like obviously inherently bad like but anything that you just didn't like a person or maybe a food or something you never had times ever time to like taste or experience because you just had a you prejudged it and had your own judgment about it and when you end up 
evening. Like, oh, wow, it wasn't that bad. Or this person, oh, man, you know what, this person, you all right. You wasn't that bad. I don't know what I was thinking because you assume, you know. Um, and anytime, um, I guess, I, forget, I literally caught it. Caught it, you assumed. You assumed. Ah, I had it in my head. But anyways, uh, you literally assumed. So, like, getting to know someone is completely different than just judging them right off. Oh, what I was going to say is that literally anything we're unfamiliar with, we're taught to usually create a negative opinion about it, write a negative review about it in our heads, opposed to, like, I know nothing about this, admitting I know nothing about this, you know, um, this thing I don't know, or this person I don't know nothing about, maybe be, they might be a cool person, they might be a not cool person, I don't know, but you never know until you try, so instead of having, like, a neutral position on it, um, neutral or positive experience, you know, um, position on it, we usually automatically resort to the negative position like oh yeah that person's different oh my gosh they're bad you know like no nah, this person's probably really smart and probably can help you out with a situation or problem or shed light on something you've thought about life that's why i realize a lot of times a lot of times which i'm going to talk about that when i talk about they don't say hopefully if i may have time to record the second podcast of today which would be episode i think 15 16 i believe of the Thoughts Theories podcast talking about, you know, you all right. You know, it's going to be talking about the Samoke concert, which I happened to check out yesterday. That was amazing. That's a whole podcast in itself because it's just, this guy was amazing. But anyways, so yeah, getting back to the thought at hand, the theory at hand, you know, um, I honestly believe, you know, I mean, maybe if you guys can relate to it that, a lot of guys just don't pursue women because they know that, oh my gosh, I have to do away with all my childish behaviors that actually are, that could affect the relationship negatively and destroy it. You know, they realize that they have to grow up. They realize playtime's over in a sense. You know, not playtime having fun in life, but playtime as in doing reckless stuff. You know, um, that's what I think. So a lot of them cower and fear out or some of them just like you know ah, i'm not ready for that yet they're not probably scared they just know they're not ready for that so they go back to what they're used to right um that's what i think so women out there if you ever get you know um curved by a guy and there is obviously nothing wrong with you like you're beautiful intelligent you got it going on you got purpose the whole conversation just all this stuff like that and he says that you're attractive but decides like go someone else Nine times out of ten, I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure that he's not ready. He's not ready to be able to be in the presence of a queen, you know. Um, or in my instance, an empress, you know. I'm going to give you guys a little little uh, cheat sheet about me. Any woman, I believe all females are queens, first off, you know. But any female that I see that like, okay, I, I, I know that you're a queen and you're attracted to me. Oh, you're an empress, you know, because you're impress that impressed me by the impression you left on me, you know. So, queen is a woman. The cool thing about both of them, they're both royalty, but impress is someone that I'm like definitely attracted to. Queen is someone like, okay, you're a woman, you're female, you're a girl, whatever, you know, whatever you classify yourself, a female, I mean, a woman, female, girl. You, you are a queen because you of, are of value. You, you were made by the king of all kings. You know, um, so you're instantly of royalty if you're, if you're a female. But yeah, that's that's just my thought on it. And um, yeah, that's why I want to share on that. So I literally want to hear you guys' thoughts and theories about this. This is just a, thoughts, a thought and theory that just popped up in my head. You know, and stuff like that. And just know the stuff that I say is not final. It's just a thought and theory. It's not the final say-so. It's not the final word. Um, but it's just what is happening and going on at, in my mind at the current moment. Meaning, it's always willing to evolve and change or, you know, just be completely revised. You know, so that's the cool thing about this podcast. Learn to not be afraid to admit that I'm wrong. You know, that I don't have all the answers. And that my thoughts and theories could be wrong and they could change, you know. They can do a complete 180, which is pretty cool. So if you found value in this podcast, this episode, not really much of a long episode, please just leave 
a like if you're watching some YouTube channel or leave a comment share this please share this with people to create conversation because I like to connect people even though if even if I'm not even in the conversation but share this to just start a conversation probably might be able to allow confession to some guys and give them some woman relief about the fact that okay you are enough right um, and definitely um, leave me a voice message if you're listening to this on anchor podcast or any other podcast you listen to like me follow me on those platforms as well as check out my merch in my merch store um, if you go to chrisadev.com to the last button on there and just click it um, on my merch you'll get access to my store and all the different shirts I sell I sell shirts tank tops um, sweaters and um, hoodies and then some coffee mugs and I got a phone case or two or a few designs I put on those so check them out support your boy definitely uh, subscribe to all my social media funds like and if you want to support me financially, like I said, I have a merch store. All right, cool. Or you can go on my Instagram profile, profile, um, and um, Chris dot with a dot K, um, and I have a I leave my Cash App link. All right, from there. Or you can just hit me up on one of the platforms and ask for a way you can financially do do it to me. I will not decline it. All right. So stay awesome. You're cool. You are enough, women and guys. We need to get our ish together. Peace.